I'm starting to see a trend here. I don't think that thing can make wood sitting in the ditch with the door open. Welcome to Monday. It's got to go better than last week. It's got to. So over the weekend, we got another two inches of rain that we wasn't supposed to get. Canceled racing and everything. We was going to go run and uh, run the late model and do a little filming for y'all at the track, but yeah, plans changed. So we're on this. It's working so far. I think we've loaded three... Four, five. I think we got five of our 11 already loaded for today. Michael is right over there. I'll let him bring that drag in and we're going to wrap his segment up. But uh, Like I said, we got, I'm, I'm pretty sure we got five of our 11 gone so far today. Uh, we're fixing to clean up that side of the road and jump across to this side of the road. It is wet. Man, it is wet. It is August and it is wet as winter almost the only thing saving us right now is you got the sun out for you know 12 13 hours a day so that makes a big difference on how fast this ground dries up if we had, if it'll rain and we'd have tried to work the next morning for sure this would be out because it's it's borderline too sloppy this morning but not bad enough that we can't work so Mickey overloaded his bucket. <laughs> We're knocking on three already out. So we've done loaded five. We started with three out this morning. So I don't even know what time it is. I think it's like nine o'clock or something. We've been humped up getting it pretty good since we got here. So far, the John Deere track cutter is doing a really good job. It's not running hot yet, which is kind of cool outside this morning. Uh, they fixed whatever cooling issue. Apparently they put a new water reservoir, coolant reservoir tank on it, and some kind of new little fitting that they had in there messed up or busted. So, something happened to it, so they, that's where the coolant was coming from, was from something that they had changed in the shop. I guess it failed after they sent it out the door, I don't know. Maybe it was leaking and it just got overlooked. No, who knows? But it's fixed now, so that's that. Look, I see Michael moseying on up this way. Zoom y'all in a little bit. It's the only bad thing with the GoPros. Whenever you gotta, you want to zoom in, you gotta stop, zoom, and then go back to recording. But the GoPro is so easy to just keep on you to do quick vlogging. If any of y'all are looking into trying to start a, a channel for outdoor stuff, I highly recommend the GoPro Black 7, 7 Black, GoPro 7 Black. I ain't played with the 8 any, but I know the, the 7, like I'm not using a mic or anything and my audio always sounds great, so. That's some good wood. I, I keep getting asked, you know, do y'all cut chip and saw? Do y'all do y'all sort logs out of your second thinning and stuff like that? No, we do not sort chip and saw. We do not sort any type of log. Everything we ha have is sold for pulp wood and pulp wood only. Uh, this second thinning like this is sold at what's called a blended rate, which means it's a little bit, the, the, the meal paid a little bit higher price for this than Than what typical pulp wood would bring it's not quite chip and saw price but it's not pulp wood price neither it's it's a combination of the two and it really helps the company out because it's so hard to get rid of logs our area right here is such an odd area there's no other area in the country like us we have uh, 
such a, a niche market for pulpwood paper products it, it, you go three hours in any direction of where I where I'm based out of and that's not the case you know it's back big time log and big you know clear cuts you don't see many thinning crews like around here it's all thinning it's all pulp wood uh, I think there's like literally six or eight clear cut crews running around here there's not many clear cut crews in my area when Michael goes to coming in with that drag, I'll, I'll turn the camera back on and let y'all watch him come in and I gotta get back busy on the cutter. I believe y'all can see him over there, but here he comes. I think he's gonna wait for Mickey to get that flipped over him and in his pile. Mickey may still have another piece over there. Looks like one little old top that broke out. Love watching the machines work together. It's, it's like watching a well-oiled machine or something. Y'all sit tight. We'll be back in a minute. <laughs> Y'all want to see something funny? I'll do it like this. Tiger cat. Grease. On a John Deere machine. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's what makes it go. I don't know. Huh. I'm starting to see a trend here. I don't think... That thing can make wood sitting in the ditch with the door open. What's going on now? It, uh, air conditioner completely quit in it. It blows, but it don't blow cold. It don't blow cold at all. Um, I can't put my finger on it. Let me back up here and make sure I've explained this to y'all. Apparently somewhere along the way, of their investigations with the machine they learned that the hydraulics had gotten way out of whack and they're saying that that is what was making the motor run hot i will say it didn't run hot today almost it did get warm but it didn't get as hot as what it was before watch michael back drag that mess about the road but we're getting ready to go home. It uh, it didn't. They're saying it, that it's not the motor, so it still got the same motor in it. What he's doing is he's cleaning out our road. I'll get to that in a second. But uh. They don't feel right to me. After I got back on the Tiger Cat and finished out the day, instead of fighting the machine, getting it to go where I wanted it to go, it just went where it needed to go. That road getting spongy. So I don't know. We're uh, I just I don't know. Some something definitely not right with it I ain't gonna say there's something wrong but it just it still needs some more tweaking they gonna bring in a drag to make you start on in the morning but we done uh let's see we loaded our 11 quota loads we got one for tomorrow loaded up over there and we're cut out in this spot. We're gonna be moving loaders very first thing in the morning. 
I didn't get much time to uh, show y'all much of anything today. But the reason we clean this road out like this is this is public hunting reserve. And if somebody was to come through here and KO theirself with a limb on a four wheeler, we're then responsible. So we gotta make sure we clean our road out every evening, really nice and pretty like what they've done right here. We still gotta clean this set up. That ditch and everything will be clean when we get done. Ain't that right? Yep, they can't take a joke. <laughs> well, Mickey's got a positive attitude. So, anyway, we're uh, gonna wrap this video up, guys. And uh, until tomorrow, we'll be back. Y'all may get to watch some tires being put on in the morning. We got Matt's tire gonna be getting fixed. What is that, tar? Tar, yeah, tar. And we don't get to see you no more. The company keeps you shipped off. I know it. It's not my fault. Oldest, second oldest man on his driving the truck out here. Just well, throw it away. Now, yeah, you're the oldest man now out here. Oh, so I get treated like the oldest. Yeah. You are puppy. Yeah. You've grown up. You're not a damn puppy no more. So. I'm still a puppy. I'm about to dog. I'm about to bite somebody. <laughs> 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 so, y'all go subscribe for me, leave me a like on there, and uh, leave me a comment. Till the next video, we'll catch y'all next time. We're out of here.